It is not exactly a beautiful day for a ball game, but fans will still have a lot of fun at the White Sox home opener today. I was hoping that weather holds out a little bit, yes. right? But there's a whole lot more to enjoy on the south side than just a hot dog and a beer. CBS 2's Jackie Kostek checking out the new food <laughs> options you're going to find at Guaranteed Rate Field. And you better bring your appetite, right, Jackie? Right, and Mugo, you can say that. And honestly, if the weather's bad, you just stand up, or you know, up there, and you just get yourself a nice half-pound hot dog, and the, you know, kill the time that way. Uh, Chef Brett Donaldson, good morning to you. This is—you really have the best job in the world, I think. I really do. In the, the chef's world, being able to spend days in a great environment like this with great fans, serve great food, watch 81 baseball games a year. Yeah. What else could you ask for? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Let's talk about what is in front of us right now. These are some of the new food options here at Guaranteed Rate Field that fans can get their hands on and uh, and down while they're sitting in their seats today and all of the other games this year. Um, let's start with this one on the end. It looks delicious. All right. This is my personal favorite out of the new offerings oh, we okay. have this year. We're calling this the Belgian Banger. This is going to be available <laughs> exclusively in the new Blue Moon View bars that are on the bar that's on the 500 level. Okay. Uh, this is a one-third pound spicy Polish sausage. We're serving it on a pretzel bun. We're topping it with a sweet orange cabbage slaw. Uh, and a little bit of crispy bacon on top. So a nice little balance of the sweet and the spice. And we really specifically made this to pair with Blue Moon. I love it. How much trial and error did it take to, to knock that one out of the park? You know, not a ton, actually. Uh, maybe four or five iterations to really okay. kind of uh, <laughs> find what we wanted to do with it. So it wasn't too bad. Which I'm sure you enjoyed the process. Of. It, the sampling was not was not an issue. <laughs> not <bad. laughs> OK, this one is you really uh, you like Ryan said, you really have to have an appetite for that. I mean, it's like it's just massive. Yes, this is an absolute beast. This is a full one half pound Vienna beef foot long oh hot dog. Gosh. Uh, this will be available exclusively in the Miller Lite, or I'm sorry, the uh, Miller High Life yeah. <laughs> view bar. It's early still. It's so early, yes. Uh, yeah. The Miller Life view bar, again, on the 500 level. So okay. we take that half pound foot long uh, Vienna dog, topping it with a truffled habanero mustard oh and a champagne of beer braised onion. Oh my, that is something to write home about. Oh my God. It, it, does it fill you up? Uh, twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this this might be a good shareable option. <laughs> and you know, it does look you with hot dogs. You can kind of just break them in half. You know, you don't Certainly. need a knife or anything. Okay, let's move on to this bad boy. What are these? All right, again, this is a this is a new bagel wrapped uh, Polish sausage. Okay. So again, Vienna all Vienna beef here. Uh, nice. We wrap it in a. Uh, uh, poppy seed bagel dough. Ooh. And the condiment we're serving this with is kind of a super condiment. Uh, it's uh, every ingredient that you would incorporate in the toppings for a Chicago dog all incorporated into one sauce. Super Chicago condiment. That's what I'm going to call it. We're calling it Chi Town Pico. Chi Town Pico. Oh my gosh. And I bet you could probably put that on some other stuff too, right? Absolutely. So our uh, Comiskey burger here as well is going to okay. use the same sauce this oh year. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I never met a sauce I didn't like, so that's perfect. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, I actually thought this was a vegetable, Ryan and Mugo, but I thought it was fried cauliflower, but instead it's not. It's It's chicken and well, let me tell. Let me let you tell this. <laughs> sure. So very much trying to follow in. We, we've seen a lot of demand for sweet and spicy as a combination. It's really happening in the food world these days. So we we followed through with that. So we have a hot honey barbecue chicken fries oh. uh, available in our loaded fry stands on 100 and 500 level. I love it. And something that you can do this year, if you're sitting in your seats and you don't want to miss Yoan Mancata, you know, hit another blast out of the park, you uh, you can actually order something. You can order any one of these things to your seat, right? Yeah. You sure can. So uh, through the ballpark app uh, or through the QR codes that we have on uh, signage throughout the park, uh, you can order from your seat any of the items that are on any of our menus and we'll have seat vendors bring them right to your seat for you. I mean, I actually don't mind getting up and walking around, but that is like if the game is really tight and you just don't, don't want to miss a thing, that's a great option. Absolutely. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you actually, I love this. So you started with the White Sox right before the pandemic started. Um, but before that, you'd worked on a lot of tours. So tell me some of the people that you worked for. I know you, I don't want to <laughs> put you on the spot here, but it was pretty amazing people. I, I did. I had a real lucky opportunity to spend several years doing backstage catering for concert tours and music festivals, had the opportunity to work with groups like Paul McCartney, Foo Fighters, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Kings of Leon. It was uh, it was quite the adventure. So you really know what you're doing. He said that uh, Chef Brad said that uh, those folks liked some slightly healthier options, but it's okay. We've got uh, the real ballpark classics with us. Ryan and Mugo, back to you.
Yeah, I'm not really trying to be healthy if I'm out there. Like, oh. I want to eat. I mean, you want to go to the ballpark. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, all diets are yeah, off, exactly, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let it ride. Oh, my Thanks, gosh. Thanks, Jackie. <laughs> What did you think of those food offerings, Laura? I mean, all of it. Yeah, all of it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you glued to I, the I love the buffet. option that you can do it on the app because they were saying, like, this level, this level, and I'm like, uh. Just bring it to me. Yeah, just bring it to me.